Hello, thank you for watching. This is the secure guide to Canada car shipping, a free roadmap to safely and securely transporting your vehicle in Canada. To get started here, we're going to be talking about the estimated shipping times. We'll give you a pre-booking checklist you can download. We'll talk about uh, value over price. We'll get you a post-booking checklist that you can also download. Uh, we'll go over some frequently asked questions. Uh, okay, I booked. Now what? So you can be prepared. We'll talk about the shipping process and talk a bit about Redfoot haulers and give you some resources so you can download this guide and watch this video. So you can actually download this particular slideshow presentation uh, in a PDF format. Okay, so let's get started. The estimated shipping times are the times that we give you before booking and during booking but what you need to understand is they are estimates and they can change at any time. And the reason why is because they're based on ideal circumstances and sometimes we can have delays or reschedule. And so what causes delays? Well, some possible causes, of course, are bad weather, uh, which often can cause road closures, uh, natural disasters, like, for example, what happened in Fort Mac. The... There's also can be unresolvable conflicts between uh, the customer and the shipping companies, industrial disputes, labor shortages, or if there's other vehicles that are scheduled on your trailer that aren't ready, that could also cause delays as well as mechanical issues and repairs. And as far as the shipping schedules go, most Canadian car shipping companies will not promise shipping times because they're depending on two many variables that are beyond the control of the company and so inevitably you'll have to change uh, some times and dates uh, so it's important to be flexible there but uh, what we uh, can do is notify you so when you book your selected transport company will notify you when there are any changes in the schedule and so when you even before you get started you should always plan for possible delays when it comes to pickup and delivery times and schedule in some some wiggle room some flexibility there so before you book this is what you should do uh, here's your pre-booking checklist and actually you'll be able to download this in the resources but we'll go over it quickly here what you want to do is confirm that the company you're looking at has good ratings and reviews and some of those places you can look at are google you can look at trustpilot.com, shipley.com, and 411.ca. And these third-party websites verify that the people leaving the reviews are actual, real customers. And what you want to do is confirm and understand that the company's transport insurance, uh, that those policies, um, you want to clearly understand what they cover and the procedures for contacting them and making a claim if you need to. You want to know what they cover, what they don't cover, and if you are required to carry your own insurance. Many times you are not required to, but sometimes you might. The other big thing is you want to look for any hidden clauses or fine print before signing a contract. So you really want to look it over and ask as many questions as you can to make sure that you're truly understanding the service that is being offered. For example, oftentimes uh, customers will uh, think that they're getting a truck shipping, but they're actually getting train shipping. And most importantly, of course, never sign any contracts that you don't fully understand uh, the company should always be able to explain it to you simply and clearly what it is and what you won't be getting, okay? You always want to ask the company what happens to your order if a truck breaks down or something unforeseen happens. You know, you always want to plan for plan B. So what happens in the event of a delay that's beyond the control of the company and what is the procedure so you're prepared? And the other thing is you can't really ask, you just have to to see with your experience. Do they answer the phone? Do they return your calls? Is their communication good? Do they get back to you within a day, within 24 hours? And when you ask these questions to the agent, are they knowledgeable and helpful? Okay, so some pretty common sense things. Uh, again, you can download this checklist so you can go over it when it's time. 
So let's talk about value over price and how to decide. So if so, is price your only factor? If that's your main factor, we want to see if you're calling around and asking for the cheapest price and nothing else. Well, why is that? Is it because you're on a very tight budget or is it because uh, maybe you need to know a little bit more about the shipping process? So you want to ask these other questions. What if scenarios? Uh, you want to look at the ratings, the reviews about the company and what's being said about them online. You know, and if that includes Redfoot haulers as well. You want to look, uh, what if your assigned truck breaks down? Do they have other trucks on the road or is it just a, um, an owner operator, one guy operation? And you want to look at how many review websites they're on because that gives you a good idea of how long they've been around and how reputable they are. You want to look at how many reviews they have and if they're recent reviews. A lot can happen in this industry. And you want to, of course, make sure that they can send you a copy of their transport insurance. This is a really good way to check that everything uh, is legit as far as the truck and the insurance that they have available to cover for you. And you want to know if their insurance, uh, what it covers and what it will not cover. Will you have direct contact with the truck driver during transport? That's important to know, or will you be contacting their office? And another thing is to ask about the resources of the company, specifically what kind of relationships do they have with the truckers, the guys actually driving the trucks. Um, using a broker benefits you because they have many truckers at their disposal. So in the event that you're assigned truck breaks down or needs to get rescheduled, something happens uh, that the driver needs to take time off or reschedule, they are able to reassign you to another truck that's on the road. And logistically speaking, the more trucks that they work with, the better it is for you. All right, let's take a look at the post booking checklist. And this is something you can download as a PDF as well. And the post booking checklist is everything that you'll need to have with you. So you'll need your shipping order and reservation number. And of course, this is if you book with us, but this is uh, important no matter who you go with. You'll want to know your assigned driver's name, their telephone number, their email address. You'll want to know the customer service phone number, the customer service email, and you'll definitely want a copy of the formal shipping contract. So you want to print that out for yourself. And you want a receipt uh, for the booking deposit. You'll want insurance proof of ownership, and you want this in the glove box of the vehicle, as well as the title and the registration, of course, which should already be in the glove box. You want a copy of the keys ready for the driver at pickup so that they can drive the vehicle onto the carrier. And again, make sure you can get a copy of the key made. You want instructions and funds available for any final payment due at pickup or delivery. So make sure you understand the payment terms and you don't want to have more than a quarter tank of gas in the car. And of course, keep a copy of this secure guide for future reference and you can download a PDF version in the resources. Okay, so let's go over some frequently asked questions. So what's the difference between door to door and terminal to terminal service. Well, door to door service is when the truck picks up and delivers to your address or very close minutes away from your address where the transport truck can safely handle your vehicle. So what this means is the truck needs to be able to fit on the roads where your address is and needs to be able to legally get onto those roads. If it's not possible to get to your exact address, then they'll choose a safe location that's very close by. Terminal to terminal service, you are required to use one specific terminal or one specific loading location in the greater metro area or the surrounding area. And there's no flexibility on that and there aren't multiple locations. So uh, this uh, has to do with the schedule. When will my vehicle be picked up and when will it be delivered? When you book with Redfoot haulers, typically pickup occurs within one to three weeks after you book and register for the service. And once loaded on the transport, your delivery will take one to three weeks 
depending on the distance of your route. For example, Toronto to Calgary is four days. Halifax to Toronto is three days. Calgary to Vancouver is about three days. Okay, and th these are all estimated shipping times based on typical service. So here's some more questions that you should think about and ask before you book. One, does your selected transport company have good reviews? How is my selected transport company rated on Google? So if you search for the transport company's name on Google and they come up on the map, what do the reviews look like? How many reviews are there? And how many are recent reviews within the last 12 months? Does your selected transport company return your calls and emails quickly? If they don't, you want to keep in mind that this is going to be their level of service throughout the transport. You want to know if they've answered all of your questions. And if you have any sort of, uh, you're not sure if they fully answered your question, that's definitely something you want to keep in mind. Um, you want to feel confident and uh, fully understand the answers that they're giving you to your question. So we always encourage our customers to ask as many questions as, as they would like to, to make sure that they fully understand the process so that they know what to expect and they know what the service is going to be like for them uh, even before they get started with us. This is how we have found customers are much more satisfied is when they understand the service. And you can always request a copy of the auto transport insurance. Uh, if you maybe aren't feeling so confident, this is always a good uh, way to go is ask for the auto transport insurance that the carrier will be using. You want to check if they've sent you references or if they have references available, how many trucks are available. If the truck breaks down, you know, what happens? What's the procedure? And a big one is if they will allow personal items inside of your vehicle during the transport. For example, some luggage or some things that you want to have uh, delivered in the vehicle at the same time as uh, you're traveling. Typically, somebody is moving, and so they'll want to transport some personal items. You want to know what exactly the transport insurance covers and what it does not cover. And does the insurance, the auto transport insurance, have a deductible? And if so, how much? Okay, I booked. Now what? Okay, so what you need to ship is you want to keep a copy of your secure checklist. You want to follow the secure checklist 100%. We've done this many times. And this checklist will help keep everything in order for you. You want to keep your reservation and order number handy at all times as a reference number. And you want to keep your shipping contract and all of the notifi notifications that you get in a special folder in your email account so that you can have a paper trail, so to speak. You want to keep your shipping company's contact information on hand and you want to check your messages regularly and return your shipping company's calls and emails upon receipt as soon as possible. It's a communication is so important and that goes for the shipping company to you and also as you the customer back to the shipping company so we can plan accordingly and you always want to have a plan b in the event that a delay happens if you're leaving tr town before the truck arrives you know what happens will you have a relative or a friend available you'll always want to sort of plan ahead and leave some wiggle room there uh, in your scheduling so here's why you should have a plan B. In the event that your assigned transport truck arrives after you have already left town, here are some of your options. You can leave your vehicle with a family member or with a friend, and we can collect it from them. That's usually a perfect solution. You can leave the vehicle at a park and go or a park and fly next to any airport. Most airports uh, offer this service, and it's very cheap long-term parking, and most importantly, it's secure. And we can collect your vehicle from these locations very easily. You can also ask our office if there is a yard, a terminal, or driver's property near your address. And sometimes our office can approve a drop-off and pick-up uh, for storage at these locations. 
So we can help you with your plan B if you're not sure. Let's talk about the shipping process and how it really works. A lot of people think uh, shipping a vehicle is like ordering a pizza or ordering a taxi, but it's a bit more complicated than that. So let's talk about the types of transport. The two main types, there's truck transport. And this is the type of service that Red Foot Haulers offers. And there's open transport and there's enclosed transport. In open transport, most multi-car haulers look like the one in this picture here. And open transport is the most popular shipping method because it's significantly less expensive than enclosed transport. And just to give you an idea, dealerships all over Canada use multi-car trailers to deliver their cars from dealerships to customers, brand new cars on these open trailers. So it's uh, very common to ship this way. So when you're shipping uh, open on an open carrier, the truck first needs to book seven cars east, for so Alberta to Ontario, and then seven cars west from Ontario to Alberta or BC. And then step two, the truck will depart and begins making pickups all across Canada. So Alberta to Ontario East, and then delivers those seven cars. So these cars are not all in the same place. They're, they're spread all over. Step three, the truck departs and begins making the pickups. So Ontario to Alberta going west. And step four, the truck delivers these cars uh, in Alberta or along the way to Alberta. And this would be one run or one full load. So these trucks, you need to keep in mind, they're too large to drive into residential and some downtown locations. So many times you'll meet the truck five to 20 minutes away from your address for pickup and delivery. The meeting location is chosen by the driver when he makes his logistic plan before departure. And usually it's a truck stop off the main highway. Pretty simple. Okay, enclosed transport trailers, they look like the one in this picture here. You'll see they're fully covered. And enclosed auto transport is the most expensive shipping method. And the reason why is because it guarantees protection 100%, unlike open transport. And that means protection from the rain, from the dirt, from little rocks on the highway, from snow. And dealerships throughout Canada use multi-car enclosed trailers as well to deliver cars from the dealership to the customers. So here are the steps to transport enclosed. Step one, the truck will book two to three cars. So you'll notice this is a smaller transport trailer from Alberta to Ontario. And then two to three cars west, Ontario to Alberta or BC. Step two, the truck departs, begins making pickups across Canada, Alberta to Ontario, east, and delivers these two to three cars. There's a typo here, not seven cars. And step three, the truck departs and then begins making pickups across Canada, Ontario to Alberta, going west. Step four, the truck delivers two to three cars in Alberta, and this is a finished run, one run or one full load. And the truck will always attempt to deliver to your door with enclosed transport. Because it's a smaller trailer, oftentimes they're able to do this. However, if your address includes a cul-de-sac, a dead-end street, a narrow road, a busy road, or for any reason the driver feels it's not safe for other safety or for the safety of the cargo, the driver may ask the customer uh, to meet up the road where the truck can safely and legally fit. Okay, your other major kind of transport is train transport, and this is what it looks like. And train is typically the cheapest option. You cannot have any personal items in the vehicle, unlike truck transport. Typically, you can have some personal items when you're transporting truck. Train does not uh, allow you to do that. There's no direct contact with the train or with the, with the conductor of the train. The insurance typically is less coverage than the truck transport. You're forced to use only one terminal and there's no flexibility for the pickup and delivery. Basically, they just tell you when it is and you got to be there. The delivery times can be up to two times as long compared to truck. 
So trunk is more flexible, and this is why train just, train just simply takes longer. Many times you'll need to pay in advance before the service when you're shipping train, and train service does not typically educate the customers on what to do if a delay happens. Usually you'll find out during the process that you have a delay. So truck for all, you know, for all of these reasons, truck is the most popular option. And it's because personal items are allowed in the vehicle up to 250 pounds in the truck and the back seat. But keep in mind the insurance, the transport insurance only covers your vehicle itself. You'll usually have direct contact with the driver and dispatch insurance for this type of transport has less exclusions than train service. So basically that means more coverage for you. There's more flexibility for pickup and delivery. The truck drivers are typically willing to, de to um, deliver five to 20 minutes away from your address versus being stuck with only one terminal location where the train is located. And delivery times can be half as much as the train. Uh, when you're paying, it's more flexible because you start with just a small deposit and then you pay the rest of the balance on delivery once it's uh, once the transport is done. And because it's more flexible, the dispatch and the driver will educate the customers on what to do if a delay happens. So let's talk about the insurance. This is always a big question and there's a lot of confusion about it. So the insurance for open transport covers accidents up to the Canadian Black Book value unless it's some uh, otherwise approved by the uh, assigned carrier and the coverage may be increased at any time with the customer's request so this is why we say uh, unless otherwise approved redfoot haulers only assigns customers with carriers and owner operators that guarantee insurance to transport automobiles in canada and most insured transport trucks operate with a $500 deductible. Upon approval from the owner operator, the truck owner, this may be removed, removed upon request of the customer. So we may uh, be able to have the deductible removed if it's approved by the truck owner, but it could also cost you more money if you choose this option, if it, in case it needs to be used. The shipping insurance for open transport does not cover damages resulting from weather or road elements. If you are concerned about dirt, snow, road salt, scratches, dings, or damage in any way from the weather, from the road debris, or elements that are totally beyond the driver's control, you should definitely choose enclosed transport. Redfoot haulers just so you know, is a marketing and processing company. We're not a carrier, but we do work with carriers and we do make sure that they have uh, the proper amount of shipping insurance. Your selected transport company's insurance policy will cover your vehicle from accidents during transport. So it's the carrier's insurance that's covering, uh, that's covering your vehicle and the transport company would be 100 responsible or liable for the safekeeping of your car. And all these car shipping companies, they maintain their own insurance. Okay, that's open transport insurance. Let's talk about enclosed transport insurance. Enclosed transport is 100% protection with guarantees. And you don't have to worry about the road or weather elements touching your vehicle because it's completely sealed off from the outside. The vehicle is placed very carefully into a special enclosed car trailer that's designed to ship automobiles and enclosed or quote covered transport. It's mainly selected for the most expensive vehicles and the price for this type of service can be almost double as for open transport. And because these uh, transport trailers are smaller, most enclosed services are door to door transport. Redfoot Haulers, let's talk about who we are. Okay, Redfoot Haulers uh, and our service, we typically ship by one ton truck or semi truck pulling a five to 10 car trailer. 
and depending on who's available during your time frame will determine this and each truck is insured by the assigned owner operator or the trucking company's uh, insurance the estimated picking time uh, pickup times are estimated one to three weeks from booking this is the typical time frame that we work with and delivery takes seven to ten days for open shipping Enclosed shipping, because it's a much more custom service, can have a much smaller uh, shipping time. So we always ask that you request a, an ETA from our office when interested in enclosed shipping. Door-to-door -door shipping is typical, and we provide it as long as the truck and the trailer fit legally and safely on your street address, and the carrier will inform us of this. It must be easily accessible and not off the driver's existing planned route. If this is not the case, and it's up to the driver's discretion, then you will be required to either meet the driver at a main truck stop off the highway, or use a terminal that the driver assigns. And usually this is only five to 15 minutes away from the addresses that you give us when you book. So when you're booking, we'll look at the address, specific addresses that you give us, and uh, many times consult with your assigned carrier so that you can know beforehand what to expect. Personal items such as luggage are allowed in the vehicle up to 250 pounds and they must be placed in the truck in the trunk uh, or the back seat only. And for safety and regulations, uh, there cannot be anything in the front seats or blocking the windows. This is for visibility reasons. And we never use rail or train service, only truck transport. So we talked about train service so that you can understand the differences. But Redfoot Haulers never uses train service. We only use truck transport. you got to understand as well, we get this uh, question often. We never drive your vehicle. It's only transported by the truck. The only time that we will drive your vehicle is to load it onto the truck trailer. There is a network of many owner operators, over 30 trucks to service our orders. And this compared to other companies that only use a few or only one truck. So logistically speaking, the more trucks at your disposal, the better for you. For example, if something goes wrong with one truck, mechanically speaking, we have backups that are already on the road that are able to service your order. So there's no need for you to look for another company or change all of your plans we can see the job through for you. And uh, the flexibility there uh, is one of the reasons why you would want to work with us. Okay, so just, uh, just so you know, you can download this guide and this is the video that you're watching, but here's a link. And for the resources for the pre-booking checklist and the post-booking checklist, you can get those at redfoothaulers.ca slash guide. And any updates to this guide will also be at that link. Thank you so much for watching the secure guide to Canada car shipping. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.